So today I've started a new chapter on my Trainings Effect website. And in this chapter, each time we can play a little bit inside a 3D world. And that 3D world was this very small part called the cycle mirror. And yeah, it really amazed me how many things happens inside such a small part in your body. And there are thousands of them. So it's, yeah, for me, very interesting to explain this a little bit more. And the best way I thought I could explain that is creating like a 3D world or game. So I used this example from the raycasting from the P5 library, which is really just a tutorial thing. And I'm trying to make a tutorial website, so that's why. But it's not really like a real game. So it's very simplified, but it gives you like a real feeling how much happens inside the muscle. So what's happening inside the muscle? Well, if you open the game, you see this bubbly thing stretching in and out. And strictly speaking, that's not really inside the sarcomere, but we are looking at the outer membrane of the muscle cell. And when you contract the muscle, it gets shorter and it's getting bigger. So that's what I tried to display a little bit here, like shortening, but in reality it also goes a little bit backwards because the muscle fibers are getting thicker. Yeah, that's this bubbly thing. And I know I wanted to make a game about the sarcomere, but this outer membrane plays a very important role as well because this is a boundary from what's inside and outside the cell. But you can only see this membrane of the outer membrane from the cell on this side of the muscle game. If you walk all the way backwards, you will see another myofibril <laughs> instead of a cell membrane. So, yeah. You can just walk around and try to figure it out. I want to explain is my mathematical model. So that's where I'm going to start from now. And in my mathematical model, yeah, there are certain types of homeostasis. So that we try to keep more or less the balance as constant as possible. And the first homeostasis that we are going to look in two chapters from now will be the CHAP system. And the CHAP system the relation between a couple of molecules that tries to keep the energy as constant as possible to keep enough energy inside the muscle cell so that we can yeah, maintain our effort. And these molecules are the most important ones and I already created small games as well there to see how these chemical reactions are interactive, how we can keep this balance. So if you just play those games, you probably will learn very fastly how these difficult charts from alias matter are working. But the most important thing to remember is that all these reactions are just to try to keep this yellow green line as horizontal as possible. Because the more to the right, the less energy is available in the muscle, but the main energy source is ATP. And that needs to be kept as high as possible. As soon as there is no ATP left, in a muscle cell, it will die. thing that is also very important to understand my models a little bit is that there is an electrical difference between in and outside the cell. And that difference will be explained a little bit more in the next video. But yeah, that is because there are these special things in the cell membrane. By the way, the bottom one is inside the cell and the top one is outside the cell. So that is the homeostasis part. And what we also want to know is that there are a lot of parts that can just go through this membrane, like oxygen that is needed to create energy. Yeah, we burn sugars, fatty acids and things like that, but also the production of CO2. And the release of that is also going through this membrane. And the most famous one probably is the lactate and purifate that has to go out and inside the cell so that it can be reused as energy source. And you can see here a little animation about the concentration 
inside the cell and a little bit darker one outside the cell. So yeah, these kind of things are modeled with my model. But if you really want to learn more about how the cell membrane works, yeah, I can just give you a quick overview, but I would really suggest to go to learning sites and learning tutorials. So the first part was about these molecules in the membrane. The orange dot that you can see with its long yellow tails. And these type of molecules are called amphiatic lipids. And these have the special property that if you throw them in water, they automatically create this B-layered structure. Because these tails are very afraid of water and those heads are very attractive to water. So the tails are bi combining and the heads are combining. Well, a very good video about that is described by the Pigment Prof. So if you want to learn more about it, just go to these kind of YouTube videos. And I will just try to focus on the mathematical part. Also, yeah, of course I already told that, like this chip system with ATP and ADP, if they just could cross over very easily over the membrane, yeah, there will never be a constant concentration of ATP. So it's very important yeah, that this B layer is there. So if you want to learn more about these processes, again, go to other YouTube videos and they will explain to you very well about it. Another part is, and we also described it a little bit already, is these transporters about water, oxygen, and all the things that can go through the membrane. And there are a lot of YouTube videos around here, and uh, I just suggest to watch them all because there's so much to learn, and it's really fun to, to see and to have an interaction with. And yeah, there are a lot of things inside this membrane that yeah, creates these energy differences and keeps the cell healthy. So yeah, that's more or less what this video is all about. And next video, we will discuss this blue thing. So that's where the game goes to. If you just walk to the red dot, yeah, you finish the game. But that's just it. And you can just walk all around. And then we we'll really go to look what the function is of this TW. So that's more or less this video. We've uh, yeah created a new chapter and uh, I hope you will join me next month for another part. And if you have suggestions or want to create other learning content or want to know more, just yeah ask me. I can just uh, change my uh, learning path a little bit. And I hope to see you next month.